Welcome back, Warriors, to another Apex Legends video. I'm Warlug, and today we have some exciting news out of Respawn concerning Season 5 and the Evo Shields. Let's jump right into it. Welcome back, guys. So today, a few hours ago, Jason Cord, the designer on Apex Legends, they released an announcement today talking about Season 5 and the Battle Armor event. This is a new event that they're going to be doing over the course of the next few weeks right before Season 5. So let's just jump right into this. I don't want to, like, go off anything. This is I'm just going to pull this up and we're going to break it down, okay? So as of throughout the last year, we've heard many fun ideas of our fans, uh, about different ways to play apex legends one of the favorite favorites that have been suggested to them and even more we introduced was the evo shields which have been phenomenal since they've been uh you know put out i think if you're more of an aggressive player the evo shields is exactly what you need i like that there's a fifth level something that's beyond just gold or just you know just better than gold because once you have gold it's just kind of like i'm not dropping it for anything like purple whatever it doesn't matter so they're excited to announce that starting Tuesday, April 28th, introducing a new limited time mode called Battle Armor, the Battle Armor event. Okay, it takes place on World's Edge over the next and will evolve over the next 14 days up to season five. But with a new twist on armor every single few days, every single few days. That's the thing, right? Okay, <laughs> so here's how it's going to play out. During the event, only one type of armor will be available, which I love. Let's just hold it on that sentence right there. Let's hold it on that sentence right there, okay? Okay. Now, this is something that I think is going to change the core dynamic of Apex Legends, and this is something Respawn wanted to do. They want to change this game, you know, to a point to just keep it evolving, right? We don't want the same things over and over again. So this is something that's going to change the core dynamic, I think, going into Season 5. So, so we're going to have one type of armor, okay? One type of armor will be available, okay? The players will drop into the match with it already equipped, this is something crazy, okay? On top of that, you're also going to drop in with a P2020, which I find hilarious because now the whole meta, the whole gun dynamic is going to change completely. All armor will be removed from the loot pool, but shield cells and batteries as well as other sweet, sweet loot will be available, just not armor. So what this means is, is that for the first few days, because they have a schedule that we're going to go over, is Tuesday, April 28th through 10 a.m. through Saturday, May 2nd, 10 a.m., we're going to drop white armor only, which means you're going to drop away armor. There's no way to find any other armor on the map. This is all you're going to get. Saturday, May 2nd through Wednesday, May 6th, you're going to have blue armor. And then Wednesday, May 6th to Saturday, May 9th, level three purple armor. And then as it's drawn out, you'll have uh, fights where everyone drops with the same or some of the best armor in the game. And then this is the big one. Saturday, May 9th through May 12th, when season five kicks off, evo armor only you're talking about some insane games that are going to happen you're dropping with everybody dropping with evo armor and then like everybody's fighting with red armor like it's going to be insane it's going to be nuts so players have been asking that since the introduction of the concept of evil of evo armor so we're particularly excited to see how this unfolds and if you want a pro tip from me get in fights earlier it'll be left limping into the final circle with level one armor we're also turning on double xp for top five finishes across all modes during this phase so this is this is something that is like you know never been done before in apex i mean this is something that we've been talking about before because just think about it right so how many times have you dropped into a game oh you couldn't find armor and you die right away you know or you find armor but you couldn't find a gun you know, like this is going to change the whole dynamic. It's kind of like back in season three where, or no, yeah, season three when they brought that event in where it was kind of like the, you know, the the redundant loot. Like, hey, in this area of the map, there's always going to be purple armor, this gun, that ammo, this, that, and the other, right? Because you knew where it was going to be, so you'd go there every time. Now, I don't know how much that actually worked to respawn like how much they actually took that data in and were like okay this is something we like but it does change the dynamic of rng when you know where it takes out the element of like oh crap i couldn't find nothing i drop here all the time and i just couldn't find anything so now i'm dead i gotta go back in and reload so i think dropping with a set of armor and a p2020 like it's 
it's good enough that you're dropping with at least armor so that way if you didn't have a gun you could actually get away and try to find something and fight but you're dropping with at least a p2020 now hold that with a grain of salt because the p2020 is like not a good gun unless you can get hammer points and it's worse against somebody with armor like after you get past armor it's like it's okay but if they have armor which you're starting off with like i don't think you know the p2020 is going to be that effective but we should see like once you do the evo stuff like once you have evo armor that's going to matter a lot because it's all about dealing damage so uh the battle armor event is just one way we are going to start experimenting with the core gameplay of apex legends and we're excited to introduce even more twists in season five and beyond wow man i you know when i first saw this and i knew as soon as i got home i was like oh man i gotta make a video about this to update you guys this is gonna change everything we know about apex legends and i think going into season five there's gonna be no more looking back okay also the news about season five is they're extending uh season four by one week to give those players you know a chance to grind out the battle pass and get to the next level of ranked if you want before season five kicks off on may 12th so you know if you're behind on your battle pass you know you want to get that extra rank grind it out do so you got an extra week guys uh i know i haven't finished my battle pass and that's just because i've been lazy about it but we're gonna get there uh, from the entire Apex Legends team here at Respawn, we just want to say thank you for all the love and support you've shown the game. We love to hear your feedback, so please share it with us, and I look forward to seeing you in games. Jason McCord, Design Director. I got to tell you, man, out of all the LTMs, there's only been a few where I've been, like, excited about. You know, the Sniper one was good. Uh, you know, the Shotgun one was fine. You know, uh, the duos event by itself was good. And now the battle armor event, I think is just going to change the way Apex is played forever. I think even going into season five, after they collect all the data, there might be like, you always drop a white armor, no gun. Like you always drop a armor, no matter what. So there isn't that excuse of like, oh, I just dropped and died because I didn't get armor or a gun. Because if you, if you drop with armor, you just got to find a gun. But if you drop with armor, you don't find a gun and somebody gets one, you can at least escape. Like you can at least take some hits and get away before anything happens. So that's the news coming out of Respawn and EA concerning Apex Legends Season 5, guys. I wanted to make this short video. I really do hope it helped. Uh, you know, going, I'm excited for Season 5. Season 4 has just been kind of like bleh, you know, for a while now. So I'm excited uh, to see what they do. And I hope that the maps change. But this battle armor event is going to be insane. So I hope this video helped you out, guys. Helped you inform, keep you up to date what's going on. Uh, as a reminder, I do stream every friday saturday and sunday on twitch the link is going to be down in the description below if you guys do have any questions about this new news coming out i'm going to leave the link down in the description and for me warlog as always guys stay gaming i'll catch you in the next one peace